Hello guys and welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome to my channel. I'm Hetty and today we're doing an Art Addicts Alliance piece and to start off with I want to welcome our new members Pearberry and Art and Vlog and they both have absolutely amazing channels and if you've not heard of them before their channels will be linked in the description below along with all the other members of the Alliance and let's get into this month's theme. So this month we actually are doing a style swap and we basically all of the members put all the names uh, all of the members that are taking part were all put into a hat sort of thing and picked at random and we don't know whose style who's doing our style so it's like kind of a mystery for all of us and we're going to go and watch all the videos to find out who's doing whose and I was luckily lucky enough to get one of the new members Pearberry and her style is absolutely adorable and it's it kind of reminds me of how I started drawing because I took a very anime cute style but she's like refined it so it's just like really really cute and just made it her own whereas mine's kind of moved more towards semi-realism now so it was a bit of a challenge for me to actually try and do her style and I started out with just doing a little like a style study so I just picked one of the pieces of hers that I really like and I, I basically just tried to redraw it I wasn't going to color it or line art it or anything like that it's just sketching it out so I just took like the different features so I did the full body hands eyes just any bits that were different to how I would normally draw them and that really helped kind of get the feel for doing it but I think my first major challenge for this month was actually coming up with a composition because normally from what I've seen anyway on style swap challenges you draw your character and then you redraw your character in other person's style and it tends to be like on two separate pieces of paper or as two separate drawings but I'm, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear traffic my windows open because it's like really warm in here right now but yeah anyway I really wanted to merge the two together into one piece so it looked kind of I don't know like cohesive and yeah so I really struggled to come up with a composition I kind of flitted between like half and half and putting just two portraits like one next to the other and I just I ended up having to ring my sister and thanks noisy motorbike anyway I handed, ended up having to ring my sister on Facebook and show her all of my sketches and be like just just I, I need help I can't decide which one to do and we, we pretty much settled on this one which is like the top halves of each mermaid body because originally I wanted to do my um, nature's warrior character but then I don't know I just kind of because I've not drawn her properly for a while I'm not really settled on how I want her to be drawn so I thought you know what I'm just gonna do something I would normally draw which would be like a unicorn girl or a mermaid and I kind of just merged them both and luckily that fits with Pearberry's sort of drawing style as well because she does a lot of mermaids and she's done unicorns so that that really worked out great <laughs> but yeah and I finally finally since Christmas I've had them got to use my new Gansai Tambi um, pearlescent watercolors and I'm in love with them I haven't used all of them yet I've only used a couple but oh my I see the fascination with the pearlescent and sparkly cut watercolors and I can't wait to use them even more I'm actually thinking of possibly doing a challenge where I only use them but yeah if you want to see that then leave a comment down below and let me know and we'll try and make it happen um, but anyway back to the artwork I when I was painting it I knew I wanted like a dark background to contrast against the figures but I was kind of umming and ahhing between having like water you know because they're mermaids or a galaxy I don't know why I decided a galaxy to be honest I'll be completely honest there there wasn't really much logic to it just kind of felt like it I guess but um, yeah I think it worked because then I could use the pearlescent watercolors to kind of like as if where the hands of the girls are touching there's like a little cosmic force going on sort of thing but uh, 
yeah anyway I think the biggest thing because of the background being so dark I knew I wanted to really contrast that with the hair because I, I was considering doing like pastel hair or like normally I would go like a pinky color so I decided to go for like a deep rosy pink but I think I, re I really like how it turned out in the end there's a couple of things I would change I don't think I quite mastered the every style because it's just I don't know maybe because of the way I was doing it like in this full piece didn't help I think if I was gonna do this piece again I would probably do it like a3 because this is only a4 but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now any art supplies I use like and hit that notification bell so you know when I post my next video and I'll see you next time bye